Welcome back to my channel Avanti Morocha. Today I'm going to show you how to apply a hissy foil to a MAC. You could also use vinyl and follow the same steps. In this video you will learn how to prepare your projects in Cricut Design Space to be cut on these materials. A MAC. A hissy foil. If you prefer you could use vinyl. Transfer tape, cutter, wither tool, a scraper. You will also need the strong grid mat or a new standard grid mat. The fine point blade and of course your Cricut machine, either a Cricut maker or explorer. First, I'm going to upload the design I made for this project. Here is the design. You can download it for free on my blog avantimorocha.com. It is available as an SVG file. Insert the image. Now click on Attach. The dimensions of this design are 5 by 3.5 inches. These are perfect for the Mac I'm using but feel free to change them based on your project. For this project, I'm using my own design that I put together in Adobe Illustrator, but if you have Cricut Access, you could also use images and fonts to make a decal. Go to images. I'm going to type coffee in the search box. As you can see, there are a lot of images to choose from. If you are planning to use any of these images to place on a Mac using a hissy foil or vinyl, I recommend using a design that has fonts with a thick stroke, like this one. If you use a design that has a font with a thin stroke, keep in mind these are more time consuming and delicate and can break when weeding the extra material. I'm going to insert this design. Now click on Attach. Change the dimensions based on your project. It is always a good idea to place a border around the design. This is going to help when weaving the extra material. Go to Shapes and insert a square. Change the fill color to white and send it to the back. Now modify the dimensions. Select the design and the rectangle. Then click on attach. Now this design is ready to be cut. You could also make your own design using Cricut Design Space. I'm going to show you an example. Insert text. I'm going to type I love you to the moon and back. Now I'm going to modify it until I'm happy with the design. I will start by changing the letter spacing. I'm going to type zero and group the letters. I like them to be closer. Change the font, reduce the font size, change the letter spacing to zero. I'm going to continue to change the position and size of the letters until I'm happy with the design. If you want, you can modify the baseline. I'm going to change this font because I just realized it is a serif font and I prefer to avoid using these types of fonts when the design is small and the material I'm using is either adhesive foil, vinyl or iron-on. I avoid these fonts because the blade reads the small corners so you are not going to get a good result. I'm going to change the font to a sans serif. This one will work better. I 
Now select the design and click on well. Insert a square. Change the fill color to white. Send it to the back and change the dimensions. Select the design and the rectangle. Click on Attach. Now it is ready to be cut. And here I have the three designs. This one was made in Adobe Illustrator. This one I put together in Cricut Design Space using an image from Cricut. And this one was also made in Cricut Design using Cricut fonts. However, it could also be done with system fonts. If you want to learn more about fonts, check my video System Fonts versus Cricut Fonts. I'm going to use this design for this project. Click on Make It. Click on Continue. Now select your machine. Select the material. Click on Browse All Materials. Type adhesive foil in the search box. Select adhesive foil and click on done. Now load the fine point blade in clamp B and load the mat. Place a piece of adhesive foil on the mat. As you can see, I've already loaded the fine point blade. Now I'm going to load the mat. To start cutting, press the Cricut button. I fast forwarded this part of the video. The process to cut this design took about 2 minutes. Unload the mat. As you can see, this is a perfect cut. I'm going to cut away and save the piece of foil I didn't use. Here you can see how useful it is to have a border around the design. It helps a lot with weeding. Now I'm going to weave the small pieces inside the letters. Finally, remove the material around the design. Cut a piece of transfer tape about the same dimensions of the design. Remove the backing from the transfer tape. Place it over the design with the sticky side facing down. Use the scraper to ensure the adhesive foil attached to the transfer tape. Pass it over the front and back. Starting at a corner, pull and remove the backing on a 45 angle. Here I mark the center of the mat, which is going to be my guide to place the design. Because my mat is not a perfect cylinder, I need to make a couple of cuts in the transfer tape, which allow me to have a smooth application of the foil. Ensure that the adhesive foil is attached to the mat. Remove the transfer tape per sections 
If this was a flat or a cylinder shape, I could remove the transfer tape in one piece and use it later for another project, but this is not the case with this map. You can reuse a piece of transfer tape so long as it retains its stickiness. All done! To take care of the mug and keep it looking wonderful, I recommend only washing it by hand. I hope you like this video and you find it informative. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section. If you are interested in getting a Cricut, I'm going to leave you the links where you can buy it in the info box below the video. If you are new to my channel and you like what you see, hit the subscription button, tap the notification bell so you get informed every time I release a new video. Don't forget to visit my blog, follow me on my social media, like this video and share it with your loved ones. See you soon. Ciao, ciao.